Hey, so today is going to be kind of special. Um, this last week we ended, uh, for me, I think it was a two and a half year campaign, but for the rest of the group, um, it was a total of four years. It, this D&D uh, &D campaign came to a close this weekend and it was really, really fun. Uh, I'm going to be saying goodbye to this character. So I thought I would make a little diorama for it. When you're creating a character, whether it's the leader of your war band for Mordheim or D&D, &D, when I create a character, I always try to put as much effort into it as possible, especially for D&D &D because DMing is hard and I don't want my DMs to think I don't appreciate that. Um, I always try to put as much effort in, into my character as they do the entire game. And I know that's probably unrealistic. I, th I think that's a good practice and I don't think, like some people just show up and that's fine. And that's just the way you like playing the game. But I do like kind of prepping um, and kit bashing a D&D &D character. He's a Swarm Keeper Ranger, Furbolg. So he does a lot of his time uh, because of his natural abilities, he can camouflage at will his subclass too he's able to turn invisible at will so he does a lot of like fading into the background actually one of the ongoing jokes for this campaign was he just would pop up in conversations that were like one-on-one -on -one conversations because he's always just kind of fading in the background all right so here I am uh, making a pipe cleaner tree. If you haven't seen it on my channel before, you're going to see it again. I do this quite often. I saw this from Encounter Terrains on Instagram. I kind of thought I would have Brill underneath the tree with all his spiders, and then the tree would just kind of envelop around the whole case. It was just way too big. And I don't know what I was thinking because uh, you can see me like shoving it in there and being like, yeah, this is fine. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> so uh, uh, a couple minutes later, I just cut off a couple branches and weld those together with the heat. Um, and that's one of the greatest things about this technique. It, it's not like super difficult to kind of just see what happens. All about happy accidents. All right, I've always saw myself as someone who kind of just fades into the background, kind of just walks up to a conversation that sounds most interesting. So that's just how I played this character. Stuff like that just comes naturally when you kind of iterate from yourself. And you learn a lot about yourself by iterating, seeing what versions work and what people like and what people don't like. Um, giant spiders on your back, people don't really like that, I've learned. I'm gonna miss this guy. So that's kind of why I wanted to create this video and um, just kind of commemorate the moment because it is not a small task to DM or play a 20th level game and I don't know, finish a four year campaign, so. Uh, right now I'm just sticking the armature wire that's in the pipe cleaner into the foam and then I just spackle right over it and it it turns out great. So it's super strong and it was probably like it wobbles around but um, other than that it's locked down and it's not going anywhere. So um, yeah that was another happy accident. I wanted to briefly mention, uh, I got a few comments about the fear of floral foam being in some of these projects. Um, I'm obviously using it here. Uh, I just wanted to alleviate some concerns. I'm using a product called Flora Foam, F-O-M, and um, it's a non-toxic floral foam made from recycled plastic. So I just kind of wanted to alleviate those concerns. 
Um, obviously, you can see I'm just cutting chunks away. I'm not sanding this. Um, if it was powdered into dust, I think it would be a concern, but I'm being pretty cautious around this and it's going straight into the trash, so. I first played this character in Sequoia National Park. My friends uh, and I went camping out there uh, and we played D&D till it was pitch black outside. Um, we were playing uh, in a forest with the largest trees in the world. And in the D&D game, we were in a forest with the largest trees in that world too. And it was just an amazing parallel and just being out in nature, playing this game is, it was really amazing. So, I mean, I would recommend it. <laughs> So uh, my first character in this world, he went up against a demon and lost and died. And this last session, uh, it was really satisfying because uh, I went up against that demon and I killed it in one round. <laughs> and uh, it was like over 150 points of damage and it was pretty amazing. I critted a couple times and um, that's one of my other fond memories of this character. For me, if it's not obvious, the sadness of saying goodbye to a character is often overshadowed by playing the new one. Um, and I went a bit overboard. So yeah, on to the next one. Thank you so much for 100 subs. That's That was so fast and I really appreciate it. it it's unreal. So thank you for following along. Have a good one.